All right, I've been training my life for this. Who am I fighting? I, I think it's more of a conversation. I heard tournament, so I'm like... Yeah, we're, we're doing a tournament arc tier list as a tournament. Oh, a, a tournament of tournaments. Yeah. A, a tournament, tournament arc tournament. Actually, a tournament of tournaments sounds like a cool tournament name. I suppose. It would, that's definitely something they would have in an anime. The tournament of tournaments. Yeah. The tournament of tournaments. Well, okay, so we're... Uh, we went to Patreon for this. For those of you yes. on our yeah. Patreon, we asked for like you know your uh, anime tournament recommendations. Uh, and we well, I, I guess we account. asked for tournament recommendations, and then they just gave us a bunch of anime. It's yes, true. and yeah, yeah. Some people just mentioned anime. We kind of just and we, we it just kind of turned into we that. We took the patrons' opinions into account, uh, but we also included some stuff uh, based on just what people here wanted. And uh, we, we tallied those up and then made our own decisions anyway. Yeah. And uh, one, Ones that got voted high that we did not include because we don't know what yeah, the fuck. Yeah, there, there, like, there are some shows like Fairy Tale. Uh, uh, yeah, we Fairy, don't, fairy we don't Tale. Know fairy tale. We I am fairy in tale. <laughs> more episodes than I have seen. Ditto. I, yeah, I, I know nothing about Fairy Tale other than it's about magic people. Technically, I am in as many episodes as I've seen because I have Oh, that's seen right. We did the commentaries on yes, those. We have seen those episodes because we had to commentate that's on That's true. I'm so. in exactly as many episodes as I've seen. Wait, no. I'm also uh, extra voices in some. Ah. So, haha. Haha. And, and, and yeah, so we didn't include Fairy Tale. We didn't include Fate. I, I think that was on there. Um, yeah. There's a few Haven't others that we just don't know them. Yeah, actually, there was a bunch of the Pokemon ones, which I only remember, I remember Pokemon. one Pokemon tournament, and it's the original one where uh, he goes up against, was it Richie? I don't know. I only, I only remember specific matches of some of them, just because, like, later on in Pokemon, the animation got nuts. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I straight up just don't remember Pokemon, I, and I haven't watched any of the new stuff. Name so. five. Okay, well, I remember I remember Pokemon, <laughs> I don't remember the show. I never watched the show for real. Gotcha. I didn't play the last games. Uh, me, me neither. But it looks like we're starting off with a real heavy hitter of a uh, of a matchup here. Yeah. The 23rd Budokai. Uh, should it be the... Tenkaichi Budokai? Probably. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I might have flipped it based on the game. So, yeah, so we it's... so we essentially have Tien Tenkaichi versus Piccolo Budokai. here to rock yes. us off. The yeah. 22nd is the Tien is the Tien arc, and the 23rd is the Piccolo, Piccolo Jr. Jr. arc. Yeah. You know, in terms of the actual stories being told, I have to say I genuinely like the story of the Buddha, of the 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai. It is. It is. It, it, I it like is. 22nd better as well. It is a better. Like, because the tournament is actually the story. Yeah. I, in the 23rd, the story is just, okay, Goku's got to fight Piccolo again. Goku's kind of, like, they're, they're kind of going through the motions with the tournament. And, it, it, like, both in story not that it and doesn't have, in, in yeah, Toriyama. Not that it doesn't have its great moments. Uh, it, it is Krillin's kind of defining moment for a fight. Like, he actually gets a really cool fight against Piccolo. For me, it's all of the fights, all of the fights, essentially, in the 23rd Tenkai Jibudokai are better than... Or at least Most. On, par or on par or better than the fights in the 22nd. So in that regard, in terms of it, like in terms of the story, the 22nd is better. In terms of the fights, for me at least, the 23rd has the higher highs, especially that final fight with Goku versus Piccolo. It kind of blows the uh, Goku tension on fight out of Isn't the But I think the 22nd is a much better tournament. Like like it, the, the the emotional arc is actually built around the tournament, not beating the bad guy. Is the 22nd the one where we actually get to see Krillin and Goku fight? 22nd is when that happens, yeah, when when, when yeah. Roshi is giving his speech to Tien. So so that is kind of like a pivotal a moment, moment, too. And like 23rd does have like the the iconic, the first iconic weighted clothing moment, which is cool. Yeah. Um, it also it also has like the adorable Chi Chi Goku moment, which yeah, you know. that's fun. And uh, it has the rematch. The rematch between Goku and Ten Shin Han is also really good. Both which you prefer, the rematch or the original? Oh, the original fight is better than the rematch, but the rematch also has a lot of really good moments, like with the weighted clothing, with uh, and like. Goku just showing how much stronger he's got. It's one of the few parts in the series where you finally get one of those moments. The mm -hmm. moments where Goku's improvement is so stark and so overwhelming that everyone just has to sit back in awe. And then, of course, the masterful Goku-Piccolo fight at the end, yeah, which yeah, is... Yeah. As I said, it's the, it's one of the best fights in the entire series. It and has... I, don't, I don't like it very much. I, I think specifically because I don't like big Piccolo. I don't like giant Piccolo. I think that sucks. <laughs> just inherently. I mean, they I, don't do much with it afterwards. Well, and also like you're, Which, if you're in an arena fight and one guy's really big, like it's can, just weird. Like when yeah, like well, stepping out of bounds I, could get you. Can I can I go on just like a small tangent? Isn't it, the, it, isn't it weird that we never got Ozaru versus Giant Piccolo? 
They set up that he can go giant and that the like the Saiyans can become giant. They didn't even apes. do it in the Lord's. They Slug never movie. did it. They never did it. Yeah. That's they should, so they weird. should have done it in the Lord Slug movie at least, and they didn't. Uh, <laughs> Actually, you make a kind of good point. Like, would it have been? Unfortunately, it never would have worked out. Well, no. Like Goku would have had to have gotten his tail back, which he could have. I mean, growth spurt again, but. I think I think removing his tail was dumb. That's dumb. They shouldn't have done it. Okay, but, so but regardless, uh, yeah, I like. It seems like we like we're a little mixed on on this. A, a little <laughs> bit, but uh, it, it really depends on what we're weighing. Is the like the fact that the twenty second is an arc that is entirely necessary to be a tournament? Like, does that rank it higher as a tournament? Like, it's necessity of being a tournament I, as a storytelling process. I, I do like that for the 22nd, the emotional arc is tied into the tournament. Also, I, I will point out the 22nd, technically what's included in that is the very ending is finding out that Krillin's dead, which is um, an emotional big moment. So how are we ranking uh, the tournaments by like, what? It, I mean, is it a matter of how much the story plays into I think, it? I, I think mean, that's going like to be. I think that's going to be per person, I mean, honestly. In terms for me, how much I like it, I'm still going to have to go with the 23rd over the 22nd. I mean, if I'm outvoted, that's fine. I personally like the 22nd more, but honestly, I, I I'm actually going to lean with you on this because the necessity of it, the necessity of it being a tournament as a story does mean a lot to the tournament itself to okay. me. Yeah, and when you get to the end of the 23rd and Goku's like, I won the tournament, uh, I'm kind of yeah. like, and I, that wasn't the emotional stakes right I, now, I Goku. agree <laughs> that I think overall, as a story, the 23rd Budokai is better, but it also didn't need to be a tournament to tell that story. Yeah, I would I, agree. I think for Goku, it kind of was partially for his emotional stakes, and also it was an overarching like story. Through it just feels like, it just feels like when he's, when he's celebrating that, I feel like, your priorities are wrong. <laughs> well, hi, welcome to Super yeah, Goku. Well, no. <laughs> welcome it, it, to it, anime. It just blunts the emotional, like being on the same emotional wavelength as yeah. Goku. Uh, yeah, two to one for the twenty-second. All right. As you see, we got votes here. So and yeah, yeah it yeah, works. Yeah, it moves on. The is tournament the, yeah. of power, which is kind of a battle royale tournament, it sucks. Uh, and, and the My Hero Academia Sports, Sports Festival. Festival. It's all right. It's, it is all right. <laughs> I guess I, I don't I have like to cough to, to say my opinions. I'm here to do that. But yeah, tournament power is garbage, and sports vessel is pretty okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't. Here's the thing: the tournament of power probably hits some of the highest highs that Super ever hits. Like it has some banger, banger hits. moments. <laughs> and that's, but, that's just we're grading on a curve there. Yeah, but it never feels like a tournament. I mean, yeah, because it's kind it's of, a battle royale. Yeah, it's, um, it's a, which yeah. is a tournament. But it's a type of tournament. It's an elimination. It's, yeah, it's an elimination event. In the and same they, way that the royal, yeah, in the same way that the royal rumble is a tournament, which. So I think one of the big things you're going to find here is with My Hero Academia, I have less emotional stakes than I do with something like Dragon Ball, um, and so for me, watching the Tournament of Power, well, I can definitely look back and like you know more objectively, not totally objectively, but more objectively look at it and say, hey, this has a lot of problems, problems that, to its credit. The sports festival does not have. Um, there are also some really cool moments throughout the Tournament of Power. But the sports festival is much better paced. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. So well, much better and, paced. And I, and I feel very opposite where, like, I'll be honest, when we're in Super, I don't give a shit about any of these characters because they're not the characters. They're, like, these branded versions of the character. Like, they're brands. Okay. They're not characters, and I don't feel anything for these people. That is sort of fair. <laughs> I will I will actually give it to you that Super's writing for these characters feels way lot less authentic. The fact that Piccolo got eliminated by the one creature he should have been the most, like, it was something you needed to listen to. His entire thing is his ears, like, he can, well, that's not his entire thing, but it's a big thing with him. Yeah. Also, I will, and maybe this isn't fair, but, the Roshi moment in Dragon Ball Super. Oh, sends it way to the bottom. Awful. One of the worst things that, to ever do. I am that shocked that in modern day that still was that's still the thing. Like, oh, I hate that, this guy. That actually that actually got the show in trouble with a couple of groups in Japan. I imagine. Yeah. Good. <laughs> they, they should have gotten in trouble. He threatened sexual assault on someone that's not funny. and got her to leave. That's Yeah, no, it's it's a bad Ooh. moment. It is a bad moment. It is an objectively bad moment. And, and, and it, it takes Roshi from from a character that I kind of don't like when he's doing that anyway to, oh, now he's a very threatening presence. Yeah. I'm not okay with this character. <laughs> it's it's a very awkward moment. Uh, I And we all, meanwhile, the sports for, festival, whether it hits as hard or not, it, it everything it does is competent. Yeah. Everything. Like, it's all good. Also, it's big moments with uh, Todoroki 
with Bakugo. Very good emotional high. With, uh, fucking, like, it's, Midoriya, like, you, yeah. get, you get to see him, like, because he still doesn't have control over his powers at all, so he still has to be, like, smart. Yeah. And it sets the stage very well for one of the most impactful emotional stories through My Hero. Yeah, so I think the Sports Festival 3-0. Oh yeah, I think the yeah. sports festival was always going to win this. In terms of, you yeah. were just playing devil's advocate with tournament power, I guess. Oh, I want, I want to make sure that they're both fully represented. Yeah, and you know, it was fully represented as bad. Okay, uh, this next one isn't even a challenge. Megalo, I am actually not a Megalo Box defender. I think Megalo Box is okay. I like I it. I like it. Fine. It seems fine. It I hated looking at it, but um, I'm. Thank you, everyone. Else, it was so, everyone like it was, it's a bad it. version of looking vintage. Yeah, everyone was like, "Oh, look at this! They made it look low as, fi." As like, someone who loves to make animation look like noisy and vintage, that's, that's the, the bad way to do it. They did it awfly. Yeah, it I guess I guess my eyes just not as discerning. I thought I thought it was fine For me, throughout. I, was, it was like I enjoyed. I, I enjoyed all. I enjoyed all of Megalo Box, but yeah, this is. Uh, but tuning exams are really fun. It's the tuning exams. They're so I mean, fun. <laughs> it's it, it plus it's it's a tournament. In the same, like in in a way where it's like you know not every event is the same, kind of like the sports festival. Where I, I, I do wish the end of the tuning exams weren't cut off by the invasion. Yeah, yeah, but we, do, we don't get a decisive conclusion. What we have conclusion. is still super fun and very emotionally impactful. Yeah, for a tournament without a proper finish, it, it still sticks in everyone's mind as one of the best tournaments in anime. I mean, you have Lee dropping the weights. I I go back to that like oh my amazing, god, one of the hype moments. Amazing in the anime, great in the manga, and like uh, uh, um, Shikamaru's entire. Thing, Shikamaru, where he becomes one of the best characters yeah. in one fight, and, yeah. winning, and winning the best love interest and only good female <laughs> character in all of Naruto. My God, he's gay. We're just gonna remind you of that real quick. I mean, Tamari's great. She, yeah. she, she, Tell me, awesome. Tamari isn't amazing. I mean, Tamari's I like, I like great. Tamari I'm not gonna argue that Tamari isn't up. great, <laughs> but she's not the only good female character. But let's be honest, Tamari. She's 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 cool. Um, but I, yeah, it seems like we're pretty much like, oh, yeah, tuning no, exams win. Exactly. It's, it's three and out. We'll talk more about the tuning exams when the conversation matters. Yeah. So here we are. The Hunter exam versus yeah. the Genkai tournament. Now, we actually did an audible here because nobody was talking about the Genkai tournament. They wanted uh, the, the Heaven's Tower from Hunter x Hunter. And I'm yeah. like, that's not a tournament. There is no part of that that's a tournament. It's it's got like a structure to it, but yeah, yeah it's, no, it's, it's more like it's it, it is there are there aren't brackets, there aren't eliminations. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's more it's more of it's like more a, like them climbing a ladder that it's not a tournament. It's it, not a tournament. There are there. Yeah, there are a series of exhibition I guess it's matches. A, it's an infinite tournament? No, it's not. It's not <laughs> while yes, there is a pinnacle to climb to. Never once is that something that they want. Yeah, yeah, there's no grand prize. There's no like ultimate winner. The, the grand prize of Heaven's Tower is getting to go to a tournament. Yeah, so that that automatically disqualifies. So that's it for why me. that's not here. What we do have is the Hunter Exam and the Genkai Tournament, both of which are tournaments. Yes, they are both are, tournaments. They're both Togashi, and yeah. all, honestly, they're, they're both good. Um, the but the Hunter Exam is better. Yeah, yeah. The, Sorry. the Hunter Exam is absolutely better. I think but. Genkai Tournament would be way better if it had a better villain. The villain's garbage. Yeah, Ran Rando, he's presented as this threat to, yeah. He's presented Rando. as, shut up, I hate you. I hate Rando. me for doing it. Anyway, uh, fuck. Rando's presented as this massive threat, this dude that's been hunting down psychics and stealing their techniques, but is never any threat to the person he's supposed to be a threat to. Yeah, and like, and when you, you know, like, even in an anime that doesn't drag too bad, that does drag. Um, that fight drags a lot. When oh, him, yeah. him, him versus Kubar and him versus Yusuke is just yeah. a little boring. Yeah. It, it doesn't really do much as a tournament other than to show that Yusuke can be a bit tricksy and mm -hmm. it just has enough energy in him to beat a mid-level demon. Yeah, I mean, it does its job. Like, like you buy that Genkai's like, okay, Yusuke has a lot of promise. Um, it's, it's, just... it's clearly Tagashi practicing for what he would eventually yeah. master. Yeah. Funny enough, the only thing I remember from that tournament, besides the fight versus Rondo, is also I think the dude who can see in the dark. Yeah, Kibano and, with his mask. Yeah, and the that dude, was fun. And the dude with the manji on his head, because it's kind of hard to forget a dude with the manji on his head. Togashi likes ninjas. Yeah, <laughs> which you know, in, in the in the you know, here we go. We got Hanzo and uh, and we do have a better bald ninja in the hunter exam. Yeah, Hanzo. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what the one is. God damn it, I've been doing the Yu Yu Hakusho Bridge commentaries. I should fucking know his name. Well, who cares? Nobody yeah. cares. Nobody <laughs> no really cares. cares. Who cares? Kazumaru! Kazumaru! Oh, wow. uh, Got him! Remember. 
Oh, Hans was better. Uh, it, it, he was. He, he like he I, I, I literally said in the commentary that yeah, this is clearly Tagashi trying to uh, create a character that's like a much superior version of our protagonist, which he would then do much better with Hanzo. Yeah, and yeah. I, and I, I yeah, and like I like that the hunter hunter exam also like you know it's it's you know, what inspired the tuning exams very clearly. Mm -hmm. um, so like it has these So having that conversation next will be even cooler. Yeah, but like- Hunter the, but, exam 3-0. But, 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 but also the Genkai tournament in like was like the build up to the hunter exam. Like it also has like yeah. going through a forest and like doing all this stuff. Like, like, like stuff exactly. building up to it, the it was, it was him structure. like betaing like the hunter exam, what he would yeah. eventually like do. The qualifying yeah. rounds are weird and interesting. I love how Togashi's beta for Hunter Hunter Yu Yu Hakusho is still one of the best. One, one of the best, best shonen. <laughs> yeah, and and people people can see the similarities between Hunter x Hunter and Yu Yu Hakusho, but I don't never none of it ever feels like a retread no, or unoriginal. No, no it, it like because the characters are so uh, like unique. He's yeah. really good yeah. at writing characters, and he only got better. Three and out though for yeah. the Hunter exam. <laughs> Hunter exam wins. Hunter exam is just the better 100%. version of what we got here. All Next right. one's interesting. I have not seen Haikyuu, so I will shut the fuck up, but I love Food Wars. It is it is one of my comfort shows. Oh no, am I the only one here who's seen Haikyuu? No, I've seen Haikyuu. Oh, okay, cool. And I think Haikyuu wins, honestly. Yeah, oh yeah, no question. Um, it's probably a better tournament, but. Well, Haikyuu's emotional highs are like, Food Wars, there's always a, a, a distance from the emotional stakes of it. Uh, yes. Because of how silly and stupid it is. Honestly, the, the only like emotional high you really get in Food Wars is probably in the final tournament in Food Wars, which is, is all right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, weirdly enough, one of the most emotional moments for me. Oh wait, no, there's of... another tournament. Uh, the, no, I'm no, sorry. The one, the one, the one I'm thinking of is the no, like no. The, the, the end of the school no, arc. That that final arc doesn't exist. We don't talk okay? about the final arc, which is also a tournament. But I just needed to clarify real Never quick. I'm not talking about, about that one. Final season of Food Wars that was Shonen Jump forcing the author to keep going after what was obviously going to be the end of the story, and him saying, "Okay, fuck you. I've got to yeah. die making." Here we go. We talked about this in another video. I've got to Steal cakes with dynamite, and stealing knives gives you that chef's ability. I didn't watch that. Part. It's bad. Oh, don't Hi I watch? But high Q, oh, yeah. No, Hi two, uh, two, uh, two and oh, yeah, two, yeah. I, I don't, I don't have a vote. I don't have a stake in this fight. But I'm not going to push Food Wars for no reason. Wait, I, I that, liked Food Wars. Is that but... score going to factor in? Later? No, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. High Q, two and zero, oh, I guess. Much as I enjoy Food Wars, it is. Oh yeah, Food it's Wars. tournaments. It's, it's all right. Food yeah. Wars is fun. Well, well yeah, I, and, and like Haikyuu just has like a lot of really good emotional highs, and it makes me care about volleyball, which is a lot. I right. I would never care about volleyball. But I yet. care about these boys winning I'm, at I'm, volleyball. I'm glad you guys are talking about this. Uh, Dark Tournament 3-0. Now let's discuss. Well, okay, it's I do <laughs> want to talk about G Gundam though, because G Gundam's the only Gundam I give any shit about. Uh, I really like the stupid kind of racist one. So. <laughs> It's so ridiculous and over the top. And I love it. It's hard not to enjoy it. Also, I, I love the Shining Finger music, but. Oh, yeah, no. The score in G Gundam is just. It's good. amazing. It's really. I good. love, like, the 70s tinge, like, like almost disco. Like. Yeah. No, it's uh, honestly, in terms of a show, it is ridiculous. It's over the top. It's crazy. It's wild. I am not one of its dub defenders like some people are. People really like the dub. I feel yeah, like it's the only way I've experienced it. Yeah, so. I, I only watched it on Tsunami. So I, I love the G called dub. Kaiser, I'm not gonna go back through G Gundam just to experience the sub. No, no it's fair, it's fair. <laughs> and um, we got Master Asia being insane. Yeah. Master Asia! Master Asia! Yeah. On the other hand, on the other side of that coin, Master Asia in that dub is literally He's perfect. Insane. I, don't know. I love him. Yeah, I love it. He kills people with scarfs and rides a robot horse who is also a horse that's piloting the mech suit. Yeah, it's phenomenal. It's stupendous. It's, and it's, I, you know, I never get tired of that stupid monologue that he does when he oh, powers yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> like it's it's amazing. Funny yeah. enough, I don't feel like we even need to talk about the dark tournament right now. No, we, know, we don't. We, we, we know it's better. We, we know it's yeah, better. We know it's it. better. Yeah, we can talk but about I want but I wanted to t at least talk about oh, yeah. Gundam. Yeah, no, I get it. Honestly, in these early moments, it's better to talk about the one we know is going to lose because we can talk yeah. up the one that's going to win later. Oh, and, and oh, I do, sorry, I do want to also mention G Gundam <laughs> is literally just a retelling of Speed Racer, but with fighting robots. Yeah, which makes it better. It even has its own Racer X. Like yeah. It does! Yeah! Oh my god! Who's his, bro who's his long lost yeah. brother? Yes, <laughs> oh my god, Domokashu's Razor X? That it blows my mind. No, Domokashu is speed. Yeah, Domokashu uh, no, 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 is speed. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Um, Oh, Schwartz Bruder. Schwartz yeah. Bruder. Schwartz Bruder. Oh! He's Schwartz Razor Bruder X. is Razor X. Oh! I fixed him up for a second. Yeah. And I, 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 I love that too. I believe they literally called him Dark Brother. Dark Brother. 
<laughs> some Darth Vader esque shit. <laughs> Except it actually actually did it. I, I am a little bit sad though because like it's called G Gundam because it's God Gundam and then there's the Devil Gundam, which is the reason the dub is like meh, Shining Gundam and Dark Gundam. Meh. Oh okay. I never knew I was called G Gundam. I was just like, yeah, it's G Gundam. Oh uh -huh. yeah, yeah, because he's the go he's got the God Gundam, and then there's the Devil Gundam. Also, oh. shout out is how I got introduced to Taka. He did a G Gundam abridged with his uh -huh. buddy back in the day. If G Gundam abridged didn't exist, I wouldn't be doing this. I think. Nah. So, so there, there, there are the points in G Gundam's favor. Fact, Dark Tournament it. wins. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Dark Tournament still wins. All right, so here's an interesting one because I think all of us have seen both of these to some extent. Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. yeah, to some yeah, extent. I've, I've seen, like, they were on after school when I got home, like, just before Toonami. They were on for me in the mornings because I was watching them on Saturday on Channel 5, KC, was it KCLA? Uh, WB. Whatever. <laughs> I, I personally find the premise of Battle City more interesting. Battle City was definitely, I, I think Battle City as a setup was a better tournament overall. But I have fonder memories of Duelist Kingdom. Oh yeah, no. Uh, like, I remember thinking about this. Everyone, everyone remembers tuning in for Yugi versus uh, fucking, um, oh, he talks like this. Uh, Pegasus. Pegasus. Fucking Pegasus. Everyone remembers that. That cheating bitch. That <laughs> cheating motherfucker, yeah. Everyone remembers the first time he fought Mai with her, like, using the uh, perfume to, like, pick what card she was And getting. her hobby, ladies. Yeah, like, the fight against Kaiba when he threatens to kill himself if he doesn't win that fight. Fucking a loser. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he's, he's dude. He's he built his entire life around a card game. All right, he flies around in a mechanized Everyone dragon. Everyone builds their lives around card games in Yu-Gi-Oh. It's true. They have an entire school about it. But yeah, I mean, I mean, didn't wasn't he doing that to save Mokuba though? I don't know. Yeah. Mokuba's soul did get stolen. Remember. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah, so. Yeah. No. I just I remember all of the bits, all of those amazing bits from Duelist Kingdom. Bandit Keith, the ghost kid, just all of the weird oh, yeah. caricatures. And of course, Martin also helped to solidify okay, my love for that. Thing. It doesn't help that I've definitely rewatched that uh, that whole arc just because of Martin. <laughs> Um, but that being said, if I remember, Battle City also does have some pretty cool stuff. I mean, you actually get a, you know, Yugi versus Kaiba. Yeah. Like, yeah. A, like a for real one. Joey has some, has at least one standout moment um, in it, which is something. And it actually jo ha Joey has his Krillin versus Piccolo moment, yeah. And it actually has like a, like a threatening big, big bad in Merrick. And, a, you know, a, a, a final like, like stretch on a blimp is pretty cool. But also, I don't care about a Shizu or fucking what's his face. Um, the dude who's like the servant to. Oh yeah, uh, that jobber. Bakura? Huh? Bakura? Ba Bakura? No, 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 no. no, no. We all like, know there, there's, 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 there was a, there was a dude, like another yeah, Egyptian yeah, yeah. dude. I, I, I yeah. don't remember that. Though. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, precisely. I'm not like, gonna fight too hard. I, in fact, I think I abstain my, my vote here. I, I don't think I remember enough, but. You guys remember a lot more than I, me. It, it was Battle City, the one where uh, Yugi fights the dude with the discs, with the fucking saw blades in the ground. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was that one. That one, I remember as a kid watching that being like, oh, this is centered as that's, fuck. That's some, like -Oh se that's some Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero shit. Those were the saw blades that sent them to the shadow. Yeah, the no, the discs. The dark discs that send you to another dimension. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I remember, no, when I was a kid, I was like, that's a sensor, those are soft blades. Yeah. Uh, I like, that was, that was the part about being a kid my age when I was watching those, knowing what anime was, and just being able to point out, that's not real. So you yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of hard, because I do have like a more general fondness for Duelist Kingdom, but I do think Battle City is the more compelling tournament. Did you forget the part in Battle City where the whole tournament stopped for a whole arc and they got sucked into a video game? That was filler, we don't count that. <laughs> Yeah, we don't, we don't count the video game filler bit. If we counted filler, some other stuff might suffer here. Yeah, we shan't <laughs> count the filler. That uh, being said. He's, he's saying that the tournament got interrupted. Yeah. Yeah, in filler. Okay. Yeah. Yes. By filler, so we don't count that. So it never got interrupted. But yeah, I'm, uh, gonna, I'm I, gonna have to say Duelist Kingdom for me over Battle City. Even ooh. though I am almost certain that people are gonna say that it's uh, Battle City over I, Duelist Kingdom. This yeah, sucks, because... Oh, well, hey. I, 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 I truly believe that Battle City is the better tournament. So, you know Stefan, what? you're going to have to make the call here. And then I'll say Battle City, too. All right, two to, All right. Two to one, Duelist King. Two to one, Battle like, City. I'll be honest, it's not going to make it to the end. So <laughs> Probably not. I mean, it's going up. Not to hurt the... 
It's going up against either Baki or Killing Bikes now, in the next yes. round. Here is garbage versus garbage. And How I think dare you? Talk uh, about. <laughs> Tyler, do you want to come over here and yell about it real quick? Because I'm I'm completely upstanding my vote. Because Ty Tyler, uh, Tyler, and I love Baki. So I love Baki too. I also love Killing Bites. I, I also I also I, very much love I Killing Bites. If I had to compare which one is actually like objectively objectively better than the other one, fucking Baki is obviously better than Killing Bites. But they're both they both tap into very similar. So it sounds like you should talk about killing bites right now. Okay, yeah, I'm probably gonna just have to talk about killing bites. It is it is absolute trash, but I love it. Oh, it is pure 100% junk food made with it's... artificial colors and and massive anime and, titties. And, and uh, they're not that big. Okay, like well-sized anime oh, yeah, titties. No. Very well-constructed anime titties. At least it's, it's all fan service and, and bullshit. And bunny girls begging to be bred. Yeah, and it's like some really uncomfortable moments, but it's oh, yeah, some extremely that, uncomfortable um, yeah, moments, but. Uh, well, the, the dual cannons, the, 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 what was it? The, was it the Viper cannons? The, yeah, the Viper dude, like, yeah, and, yeah, and, the, and, the, and dude. the entire beginning introduction to our protagonist. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. But oh my god. It's trash it's, food. It's 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 blood and tits and It's blood, it's tits, it's furries and it's honestly if you're, way better animated than it deserves to be. Honestly, that's kind of the thing that elevates it. The thing that that makes it beyond just something you wouldn't watch is something that you would absolutely get a bunch of friends together, warn them about some things and then have a bunch of fun. Because some content warnings yeah, are hey, absolute hey, hey, absolute hey, content warning. Heads up, if you if you couldn't stand say uh, some of the old um, uh, tr tr trauma uh, Tromaville stuff, if, or if you couldn't stand some of the old trauma stuff. If what happened with Roshi at the Tournament of Power made you feel yucky, don't watch it because <laughs> it, this goes way further. Yeah, at least this isn't something where it's not trying to be anything else but trash. Though. It's absolute trash. You're it's absolute you're, trash. You're, you're, yeah, yeah, you're not yeah. just suddenly getting side yeah, swiped. You're not getting side <laughs> no, swiped. No, it, yeah. it, it wears it on its sleeves yeah. very heavily. Uh, but Baki wins. Yeah, oh, Baki is 100% winning this. All right, there you go. Yeah. I, Are you satisfied, Tyler? A thumbs up. I'm, I want to and, by, and by the way, just for people at home, this is the, like, if we're going by the anime titles, this is the Baki the Grappler tournament, not any of the more recent Netflix stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Which tournament exactly? Is this, this the one? The one with Jack Hanma. Jack Hanma. It's not the Rai Tai tournament. Uh, that doesn't help. This is, this is it, not the I'm, one I'm, where they go to China. This is the one where they meet, where, uh... I'm on mic. I could do this. <laughs> And hold on, hold on. He, yeah, he, he's just saying. Yeah, th this is this is the one where he meets Jack Hanma. This is Jack Hanma's okay, big one, right. like where they build up to the end, and then at the end of the tournament, after he's won, that's when his mom's back gets broke. Oh, uh, okay. His mom gets killed way before that. Was that way before that? Way before. Okay, I'm, I'm my my I, I have chronological confusion then. Back to the top here, we got the 22nd Budokai Tien's Budokai versus the My Hero Academia Sports Festival. Now this is an interesting one. I, I. I, I, as a tournament, I think that Budokai, like again, Budokai Tenkaichi, Tien's tournament, is more utilized as a tournament to tell its story. But the My Hero bit is way more creative as a tournament, and I don't know. I, I think I think I do prefer the sports festival. Interesting. Well, I, I honestly like this is my hot take. I don't think Dragon Ball has any good tournaments. Like, like I mean, they they don't have any great tournaments. They have fine tournaments at best. And this is sure your and this is your one. favorite of all of them. Twenty seconds, my favorite of, okay. of the Dragon Ball ones. And it's I still think that my hero one, which is just good, is better. Uh, <clears throat> small small addendum. The sports festival also includes all the actual sports, like this actual. Yeah, sports. yeah, everything leading up yeah, to yeah, it, yeah. from the from the uh, which, from the obstacle yeah, the course. Festival. Which to... I'm gonna be super honest, and this is gonna make me sound sort of shitty, is my least favorite part of the whole thing. Why, why are they making it sound shitty? That's fine. I, I know, but it's just, it's just an opinion. I know, but like I know there are a lot of people out there who probably really like the race, uh, like the the, the, the horse the tag jockey. thing. Yeah, yeah, like which all that stuff is kind of neat. But when I rewatch, I skip it every time because for me, it just kind of feels like an expedition, an ex like a bunch of exposition 
for everyone's abilities, which is neat. I mean, it is it is a neat way to show off a bunch of new people's capability. Yeah, but for me, it's nah, I prefer the more character rich moments that we get in the one on one fights, which is like the strength of a lot of tournaments. I never quite felt that as much during the group stuff because it had so many different characters going up against each other. But also it has variety unlike the 22nd. Oh yeah, no, it, it's got variety, that's for sure. And there are probably a lot of people out there who are like screaming at the monitor, like, are you fucking kidding me? The stuff before the fights was really good and rich. I, and I like it, it's fun, it's fun, and it's again, not, not and, very and, long. And, and again, I think as a narrative device, uh, like or a contrived way of getting people to do stuff, I think it's a really cool way to get people to show and, off and their And it powers. highlights that superheroes often work in teams, and yeah. like, you know, highlights And that's just the way that people. the world works. I wonder what sports are like in that world. Oh my god, I don't even know. But of course she hasn't gone into it, really. So, yeah. I, that's an, it, that's untapped. That, that being said, um, it's also the reason that the tournament they have later, where with uh, the, the inner, like the schools all going up against each other, mm -hmm. it's one of the reasons that that arc always sort of loses me for like the longest time. Because again, it's, hey, we're throwing all these classes at each other, which... That, that one got a little over long in the anime. Yeah. Um, in the manga, it moves, well, moves it much faster. It didn't help the fucking anime inserted two filler episodes. Yeah, well, which, yeah, yeah. The, the anime, like, like it, it really helps the sports festival if we're talking about the anime, that that was when its production was at its best. Oh, yeah, also that. Because um, the production's gotten worse over time. It's, yeah. it's because, of, because of the fucking movies. Uh, <laughs> I, I fucking hate that the movies exist because they hurt the show. Also, but. it just kind of seems like they've like <laughs> dropped their interest in the show. I don't know if it's declining popularity, if it's what it is. I don't know. It's it's obnoxious though to watch it not be done justice. Yeah, no. <laughs> watching rewatching the first season of My Hair Academia and then watching the later seasons, it is night. Like, where'd all the directors go? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's night and the, day. The ter like the direction, not just it's, like it's like Jujutsu Kaisen and uh, Chainsaw Man just came through and just ate their lunch and like took up all the big talent or something. Well, and again, and again like they, when they're making a movie every year. Their best direct, their, their best people are working on the fucking movies. <laughs> We're talking about My Hero Academia, and there is a new episode of Jujutsu Kaisen out today. I'm done. I'm 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 I'm, I'm holding off. I'm gonna I'm gonna binge I, that show. I, I love Jujutsu Kaisen. I genuinely love My Hero Academia. I, I, I especially the manga. I, like, have, the I haven't watched great. the latest. I haven't watched the latest season, but um, honestly, the anime's eh, now, but the oh, manga's amazing right now. Um, <clears throat> but but like, hmm? My Hero, My Hero. Uh. Okay. The, yeah. I, I think the manga is great right now. But it's, yeah, when it when it when it comes to this, um, but yeah, the the, the, I, the sports festival. I think it 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 really benefits from being again the height of the production of the anime of my hero um, and and twenty second Budokai Tenkaichi or Tenkaichi Budokai is f fine for Dragon Ball. Um, but I don't think it's that good. The My Hero either. Sports Festival for me is kind of hit by giving kind of like a false finish. Like Todoroki just sort of gives up. Uh, well, technically he doesn't give up. He just fi like finally loses steam. He can't keep it up. No, well, he no, decided. He he, no, he doesn't. legitimately straight up gives up because he doesn't want to use his fire yeah. again, which would have. Oh. That's why. That's why Baku goes pissed at, at the end of the. Yeah, he's, he hates winning that. That. that I. Tournament. I could have sworn he just flat out. No. Couldn't. No. Okay. No. Yeah. Like that's why Baku goes. That's why Baku goes pissed again. Yeah. Because he didn't get a real fight out of him. Yeah. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad what I did in next minutes reflected that. <laughs> but but uh, but also like uh, yeah, it, if we're talking about like kind of eh, finales, 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai. Goku gets hit by a car, but <laughs> he gets hit by a car and that somehow sends him Which, to the ground faster. Honestly, <laughs> as a wrestling fan. I, I like that because uh, I like in, that the car got in the way. I just oh, don't yeah, like that but, he w fell faster somehow. <laughs> in in wrestling, what you have is like called like a, a, a dirty finish or a fuzzy finish, where uh, it keeps both can like it keeps both the contenders looking strong. Something that would have been a draw somehow essentially. Gets them both over. Yeah, yeah, they're both they're both over in this because yeah. you know oh, d would was Goku about to win? You don't know. The car got in the way, so Tien wins. Yeah, I, I, I would. Why didn't they just it, they count the cars outside the ring? That would have just made that. Maybe part. they did. Yeah, no, they didn't. Oh, they didn't. No. It's specifically that he hits the car and hits the ground faster somehow because of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's whatever. But technically, the car's interfering. Goku wins by DQ. Yeah, it's and it, 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 yeah, like, but yeah, that, it's it's kind of a bullshit ending to the <laughs> to to the fight. But regardless of like, they both kind of have bullshit endings. They both kind of have bullshit endings yeah. in their own right. Yeah, they're both um, fuzzy. But regardless of whether or not their endings are better, you have to look at the whole of it and in terms of the whole it's hard for me to say because 
both of these have very different structures, different, like, uh, and I'm gonna be honest, My Hero Academia is just way more character focused, way more story focused. You say that, but the entire 22nd Budokai is literally Tien's character arc. Yeah, and the sports but it festival is, is uh, Midoriya's character arc, Shinzo's character it's, it's, arc. It's, it's part it's, of their character arc. This is Tien's entire character arc. <laughs> That's, that, that might be more of a negative than a positive. Maybe. <laughs> Um, I mean, to be fair, uh, it's his entire character arc only because Toriyama does not do character arcs beyond the initial ones. He sometimes gives so, further arcs so, later for like Vegeta. So which like, so which side are you on? Yeah, Vegeta's the only one that really get uh, Vegeta and Piccolo are the only ones that really get full go, arcs. Go on, it, go kind of. Gohan gets his. Unfortunately, his arc is forced in at the like yeah, last like, third of what Piccolo and Vegeta are the only ones that get. You know, nice character arcs that actually take their fucking time. Yeah. Uh, so I, either way, though, unless we're done talking about Dragon Ball and eliminating it, I yeah, I am done talking about Dragon Ball. I'm I'm t totally for eliminating it right now. What's your vote? <sighs> so I'm going to. Uh, I'm a bigger fan of Dragon Ball than I am of My Hero Academia as a whole. However, if I had to compare these, I have to say that My Hero Academia, like Horikoshi's writing, really shines in these moments, so I'm gonna have to say I, My Hero. Then I'm the only one voting Dragon Ball. I think it's a more, like, I think it's a better paced arc, and it tells a whole story. Okay. Okay. Now, an interesting one. The tuning exam versus the hunter exam. Okay, this one is a little tougher. I will say, in terms of, like, like Hunter Hunter, it's a really cool, interesting, multifaceted, like, it's not just a tournament arc. There's eliminations. But neither is the tuning exam either. Yeah. Neither is the tuning exam. The eliminations come from so many different places, from like spider eggs that you have to uh, collect for uh, what's her face. Um, the, the whole gauntlet in, what was that? The place? labyrinth the made? Labyrinth. The, the labyrinth prison, yeah. Yeah, the labyrinth prison. That shit was nuts, like mm -hmm. truly incredible. But I, th I do think, I think we're starting to, to, to hone in on what makes tournament arcs fun, which is character focused like moments. And Naruto has that way more in spades than the Hunter. You exam. think? Because Absolutely. Hunter Hunter is where we get introduced to so many of these characters. Yeah, but I think that, I think shooting Xanax actually has way stronger moments for all of its characters. Actually, I'm going to have to agree, but only hmm. because it, okay, so the yeah, Hunter, Hunter, Hunter Hunter has better character moments later after they're introduced, but Tuning Sands has has like some, like really high moments. Hunter Hunter uh, has a <clears throat> smaller cast in this that it cares uh, about, it, it, yeah, it, that it actually like cares about and is going to that aren't eventually going to be ant food. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, well, oh, and that will feature later prominently. Yes, yeah. um, that didn't make me sad though. <laughs> yeah, a little. I, Honestly, P Ponzu okay. did not deserve that shit. No. But Togashi was our, such a real one for that. He fact. was. Like, him being like, hey, remember these characters? Remember how- Okay, I, he's, he's like taking the trope of like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this anime thing where like the person gets away and they get, fuck you, bang! <laughs> yeah, no, that shit was dark. That was so much darker than like any- But yeah, but shit. yeah, like- What would what? make this worse? I'm gonna have oh, an ant oh, oh, dig oh, around like, But yeah, the, the cast that Hunter Hunter, Hunter, Hunter cares about right, in that right. arc is, is smaller. Yes, yeah. um, and- in those moments, the big thing here, much like in the tuning exam, you're meeting some of these characters for the first time. Um, Kiloa's introduction and everything, we really get to a lot of insight into Kiloa over the course of this tournament, more so than I feel like we do with any of the characters in Naruto. Whereas we get well, ideas you... and, and introductions to these characters and their motivations. With Kiloa, I feel like we're spending a lot more time with him. Okay, to be fair, it's drip fed more. Like where the tuning exam kind of bunches. Yeah, we, them up. we get the beginning of Killua's character, but we definitely don't get the whole story. Oh, absolutely oh, not. You but you get his origin. Or, yeah, yeah, and yeah, uh, and uh, well, you I'm don't not get his origin until that... until frankly the next arc, though. Like well, you, you, you don't you you, 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 you get, get no you 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 get his or because he tells you he's an assassin. He and does, when you does. see him actually pull the heart out of that serial killer, I mean, oh my god. I'm not that... saying the hunter exam. Like I, I love Hunter Hunter. I think oh, no, it has one of the best opening arcs of any shonen battle shonen like manga okay. anime. <laughs> Let me say it this way. I like how we learn about Kilua way more in the Hunter exam than a lot of the expository heavy stuff that we get in the tuning exams. Whereas the tuning exams, we get them in ways that make sense. It's also very front-loaded with a lot of the stuff that we get for each character because 
Kishimoto's like, yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time on all of these millions of characters I'm about to introduce in this arc. Especially when, especially when we can dip into them for like the umpteen billion flashback episodes we're going to have. Oh yeah. I, I, but we're not counting filler. No, we're not. And, and uh, again, we're only talking about the arc itself, yeah, which is but, riddled with flashback bullshit. It is, but I, I like them. Uh, but um, but like, like I, I'm, I'm kind of the person who I kind of think the flashback no jutsu like stuff, like sad backstory stuff, is kind of effective. That's why he kept doing it. It worked. I, it, it, that, he, the big problem for me is, uh, like, and I think this is where we'll differ greatly. When uh, Kishimoto started doing that in the tuning exams for literally every person that was about to be eliminated, I'm like. Okay, I fucking hate this. <laughs> that that, that, that do, does hurt it a bit. Uh, um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I also, um, like, if I were asked, like, to just, if I was wanted to just watch just the Hunter exam or just the tuning exam and nothing else, mm. I would choose the tuning exam. For me, it's Hunter exam every day of the week, I think. I think one of the things that would bring me back to the tuning exam is some of the action there. Is the, action is, the action is amazing. The oh, action absolutely. in the tuning exam, like again, Lee, uh, the, the fight with Neji, like all uh, that heck, shit. Heck, let's, let's like take it back to before they get in that small arena. Oh yeah, the when they're doing, when they're like yeah. going through the woods the, and like yeah. fighting the different squads. No, it's all cool. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on there and they introduce Introduce, like I have to say, that Orochimaru fight is insane too. Yeah, uh, that's uh, mm. one of the ones I was thinking yeah. of mostly. Um, the way that Kishimoto introduces his world, these characters, its concepts, with a tournament arc, because before that we get we we get an arc before that, and it's good. That does introduce a lot of ideas, but it isn't. Yeah, that was the, the uh, that was the uh, bridge arc, right? Yeah. 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 Which very good arc. Yeah, honestly, one of the best. I like in it. I think it's better, like in a lot of ways, in a pacing way, better than the tuning exam. But yeah, there's a reason people remembered Zab Zabuza and Haku yeah. long after they were dead. But I think the tuning exam is an even better way to fully introduce mm -hmm. all of these concepts, from the curse marks to how a lot of the jutsu work, and the, to, the wider world. Yeah, it, it it was phenomenal. It opened everything up in such a way that I genuinely, like, as somebody who's a huge Kishimoto critic, I am a huge Kishimoto critic, I love the Chunin exam for mm -hmm. what it does and how it, like, economically does was, everything without feeling like it was, it's, it's yeah, it was, it was peak, it was, it was peak anime for a time. It feels like you're up to vote for the Hunter exam. Ah, I don't know, because with the Hunter exam, you also get introduced to the world in such, and, and I'm gonna be honest, Tagashi is probably my favorite mangaka in terms of his overall writing and stuff. Well, and, so and I think I like Hunter Hunter as a whole yeah. more than Naruto, despite yeah. my nostalgia for Naruto. But I just don't like, think I like the Hunter exam more. That's and, and that's fair. Uh, I disagree. I just I don't yeah, know. I think, just I think the way this, is, on Scott yeah, to be this, the this is truly on you. Um, yeah, I will say the Hunter Hunter the the Hunter exam. Well, really cool and one of my favorite like. Honestly, got me into Hunter Hunter. When I was watching the original '99 anime, I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'm on board with this. I love this. I love these characters. I love these concepts. The fact that the danger is so omnipresent." I, I will say one thing that might be coloring my my views. I've never seen the '99 one. Hmm. I've only seen the 2011 one. I will say the '99 one better. It, 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 the '99 anime genuinely to me is way better directed like in terms of it looks like it is from what i've seen i just haven't watched it it, it doesn't have all it doesn't have all that like bright color polish to it it actually has some edge and grit to it mm -hmm. and and great framing and creative it, like it angles looks and... yeah it looks more like um i've seen good honestly clips. it looks more like if the like it, if uh, the dark tournament team animated hunter hunter yeah a lot of the animators who worked with, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but that being so said, that might be also be coloring my views of it yeah that being said um <clears throat> you know I I love that story, I love those characters, but if we're going for like the things that got me the most hyped, yeah, no, the best stuff in Hunter x Hunter is after the Hunter exam. Some of the best stuff in Naruto is in the tuning exam, so I'm gonna have to vote for the tuning exam. All right, All right. two to one, tuning. I, I was prepared to lose that one. Uh, hey, I... Hey, really we're, like we're, the at, exam. we're at another day. I will yeah. say the last thing about the Hunter exam is that the one thing that he does, I feel like Kishimoto tried to do this by introducing like Orochimaru and Gata, where some characters were dying in the tuning exam. I truly felt the danger of the Hunter exam. Oh yeah, that, Hisoka is this omnipresent threat. I, and like the environment kills so many people. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. it's, it, 
It really shows you how little of a shit the world cares about you. Yeah, that's that's the thing I love about the Hunter Exam the most. Where I, I do think, I do think, unfortunately though, that's like like midway through is kind of the height of the emotional stakes of the Hunter Exam for me is when Gon. When Gon like faces off against Hisoka and takes his thing, yeah, um, and then it's it's not bad after that, but it's not as good. Yeah. All right. So moving on, what we got here? We got Haikyuu versus the Dark Tournament again. Three and zero for the Dark wins. Tournament, I think. All right. <laughs> what do you want to say about Haikyuu? Um, Haikyuu is one of those shows that I never thought I was going to enjoy until I binged two seasons of it yeah. while hor horribly sick and realizing that it is one of the best anime ever made. It's, it, it's just, it's that, th that song one video where, he, where he's oh, like, yeah, yeah. volleyball anime, and he's like, and it's so important that they did that because... <laughs> Look, there is no there is no <laughs> moment in an anime where I have screamed and hollered louder than that one block. Mm -hmm. That one block is so good and so cool. And you, you never feel so emotionally invested in people going. Yep. <laughs> it's insane. I cannot believe Whenever that. people do this, you go, <gasps> No! Exactly. <laughs> I, I have never seen this anime. You, oh you would probably God. love it, honestly. I, I probably would. Yeah, honestly, Haikyuu is one of my favorite anime of all time. It's in my top 10. Next up with like Showa Rakugo Shinju, fucking March Comes in Like a Lion. Why am I into... I'm not even into sports or games. I mean, I just named you know, three that are old. Okay, sure. I, I'm not into a lot of sports, but every, every once in a while when there's like a really good sport, like I love Hajime no Ippo a lot. Mm -hmm. And I don't generally care about watching boxing. <laughs> I think I, I think I just really love stories that take really niche things, or at least like very and just make things. you invest and, in and make you they invest force in, you to be by by giving you these characters mm -hmm. and and this world building and the storytelling and the dramatic is, framing, uh, uh, like like that gets you to understand why people enjoy sports. There are rules to the competition, and you understand them, so yeah. that when something happens. I, I should really read Hajime no Ippo someday because I. The, hear it's I'll, really I'll say that the old anime is great. Yeah. Like I just fucking watched it. Now I, I had a great time. Yeah, I, I could probably watch some of it too. Yeah. I just say read it because it'd probably be easier. Anyway, bye Haiku. Dark tournament. Yeah, bye Haiku. We'll talk about dark tournament later. Yeah. <laughs> at some point. Yeah. You give. We'll see you at the end. Dark tournament most likely. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't think it's beaten either. Bat I, I don't think Battle City or Baki are gonna yeah, beat the dark it's tournament. Yeah. Not happening. Just... But, but again, I'm gonna sort of take myself out of this this discussion. I assume Baki's winning, but it's uh, yeah, honestly that's a conversation. I I personally really like Baki. I I don't necessarily think the tournament format is necessary for Baki to be good though. Yeah, I feel like the uh, it's, this is the uh, though this is the only tournament in Baki I think that actually matters. Mm. Yeah, I will say. Baki is kind of great because it's just like people finding reasons to fight each other and then doing insane stupid bullshit. Mm -hmm. And honestly, yeah, in terms of that, in terms of it being a tournament, look, I might the, enjoy there are There are big pluses to this tournament in that we get introduced to most of the long-lasting cast of the show. Yeah, I mean, that's true. But same could be said for Battle... Oh, wait, no, not Battle City. For That would be uh, Duelist Kingdom. Kingdom. Yeah, I guess for, for Yu-Gi-Oh, it's really just a matter of... Hmm. Like, do you, do you think the heights of Yu-Gi-Oh's tournaments are better than the heights of Baki's tournaments? I'm gonna say, as a tournament <clears throat> structure and setting, Yu-Gi-Oh makes more sense. Whereas, again, like, you're, I don't feel like you're this is this, this is the only tournament in Baki that I feel like actually needed to be a tournament. Okay. Because okay. every other tournament kind of devolves into just free-for-all bullshit, we're gonna, we're gonna make up some new rules anyway kind of thing. Uh, this is the only one where it actually kind of tells a story that the tournament structure uh, makes sense for. It's, it's the classic trope of, you know, your young, you know, protagonist going up against, like, individual challenges while this big, massive muscle of a man is starting to tear through. And then partway through, you learn that that big guy just happens to be his half-brother. And now you have this whole thing where this, like, you know, Baki has been training his body his whole life to try to beat his dad, and Jack has been seen as this... Uh, you know, kind of a, a weakling. Like, his body rejected food and shit when he was a kid, so he started, like, doping up, doing as much as he could, surgical procedures to make his body the ultimate weapon. So it's literally nature versus science, brother versus brother, Hanma versus Hanma at the final round, and I just gave myself goosebumps talking about it, so I actually do think I like Baki more. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you really talked yourself into that one. I, I did. I... I think I, it's. I think it is a very well told tournament. I'm just gonna give it the Baki then. I mean, yeah. I, unfortunately, like, 
you probably not just don't want to fight that hard for you. Know? Oh my god, I just oh man. <laughs> they didn't even sing any of its praises for it. Was. Did you give Yu-Gi-Oh pity? Vote? We talked. We talked about both of Yu-Gi-Oh when it was. Yeah, I know. It's where your vote would go. It's your vote still it, exists. It's true. I feel like we talked enough about Battle City. I don't. I don't have anything else to say about it. So we have a very here. If you just move to the yeah. move towards Stefan, or oh, move towards oh. me. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, we have a very interesting dynamic here of a very like creative tournament concept where it's it's like very multifaceted and not technically a tournament until it becomes one. Yeah. Uh, and then tournament. Just just. So this, these are very like I like the way this built out. Yeah. yeah. Um, but sports festival versus tuning exams, I think we know which one wins there. But because I've like been saying, sports festival is good, but it's not great, and tuning exams pretty great. Pacing for me matters a lot, but yeah, I would lean towards tuning exams as yeah. an overall Again, example. Again, the emotional of, highs are just really high. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the tuning exam. No moment. I'm sorry, sorry, my hero academia. No moment in your entire arc. Beats dropping the weights against Gara. My hero's no. most most impactful moments are not in the sports festival. Yeah, like my, my hero, like when it when it came to the tuning exams, again, you you had like that was where Shikamaru actually became a character. He where we, he became a lot of people's favorite character. Yeah, oh, yeah. It just in one it fight, immediately <laughs> skyrocketed from being a character who who had a dumb catchphrase to mm -hmm. he's the best guy. He's the fucking coolest. Yep. And and I actually do love that about the term as well that that, that tuning exams are not necessarily about who wins. It's about who proves that they yeah because that they're Shikamaru, mature enough. Shikamaru was like the yeah. only person to become a tuning from that, and he because because he he showed good yeah. leadership skills and like the ability to like make smart decisions and whereas, like, whereas in cool. my hero you didn't really get any like actual character moments like that that really showed off what a character is truly about you got some great emotional backstory yeah. but like it, it kind of has that that structure of like you're not necessarily there to win the fight you're there to impress people yeah like i think i think ochako but, versus like, bakugo is neat that's, that's I, I, I love that fight yeah, yeah. Um, ochako, ochako versus ba uh, bakugo ochako Uraka. yeah Uraka. Okay, Uraka. Uraka. Yeah. Versus Bakugo is such a great fight because you know who's going to win. Oh, it's 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 the and same I, as like Krillin like, oh, versus. Oh, you picked on that little girl. She's like, she's not helpless. What are you talking about? Yeah, she, fuck yeah. all of you. No, Bakugo. They both they both get great moments in yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Bakugo snapping at everybody and being like, "Do not infantilize her. Fuck you." She yeah. was fighting he me were, with all she had. I were, fought he back. Respected her. Yeah. 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 Real Woke men. King, real men don't Bakugo. hold back. Woke King Bakugo You stay girls. you're a meshy would punch a woman if she fought him. That's all would happen. <laughs> um, yeah, no, nah, that, that, yeah, tuning exam wins, but like, yeah, my, my Hero Sports Festival still has good moments It has moments great too. moments, yeah. yeah, but just doesn't match up. Yeah. And then finally, it's Baki versus Dar Bye, Baki. These, bye. It, it is unfortunately bye to Baki, but yeah. again, we have two quintessential tournaments going up against each other. It's just the fact that, and here's where we can start saying something about Dark Tournament. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I literally gave Dark, Dark Baki the, its one of flowers. the only, like, thoroughly entertaining tournaments that's just people fighting. It's just... There's other story stuff that goes on between the fights, but it does not s stop the fighting happening. It does not take yeah. it away. And when no, it does nothing... take breaks, it's just like sort of like people just hanging out kind of. Yeah. And, and not too. only is there no filler in it, it actually takes shit away from the manga to make it better paced. Yeah. It's crazy how All good killer. the Yu Yu Hakusho it's, it's phrase It's crazy how good the Yu Yu Hakusho anime is up until the up, up last until arc. They, they couldn't, <laughs> up until they couldn't really do anything about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Again, they cut more filler. They cut the finale of the manga too. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, just dark tournament where you know it does that same thing I was saying with Baki. You know, minus the familial ties, where you have the big bad versus the pro tag team. But the pro tag team is the underdog throughout because not only does the crowd hate them, the organizers hate them, everybody in that arena hates them. Yep. And uh, what makes the dark tournament really interesting, uh, actually no, I'll save this for the next conversation because it, it's, I mean, I it's a part we, of I variety. I think we're just in the next conversation. Let's we're in the next conversation, all right. So yeah. defend the tuning exams against- I'm not going to. Okay, Kaiser, can you defend the tuning exams against the dark tournament? Yeah, unfortunately, while well, the tuning exam is one of the best tournaments in all of anime. Uh, and so the is dark, the Dark Tournament. The Dark better. Tournament is the best tournament in all of fucking anime. Find me, and I will debate you. Uh, yeah, no, and the, it's a thing where also, like, the Dark Tournament is also arguably the culmination of Yus Yusuke's story, period. Like, it's, mm. like, his emotional arc stops. He doesn't really grow after that. Not really. 
He, oh. he finds out he's a demon boy, but that sucks. Uh, <laughs> but. Well, I don't, I don't under, well, then again, Chapter Black is also way more Kuwabara's growth I, than I, anybody I, else. But. I love the concept of Chapter Black. I hate how it ends, but I love how, it's, how it goes. Uh, and, but, but like, yeah, no, like the Dark Tournament's, like its emotional arc is all about Yusuke opening up emotionally. And, and that's kind of the culmination of his story, like where he begins, like, and where it's he It's him goes. learning to accept a loss that well, and then and, he doesn't have to accept. And but, to just openly admit that he cares about people. Yeah, like that's really that's the most important thing that happens in that story. No, it's it, again the dark tournament is amazing, and Tagoro is Yusuke's best foil, like yeah. I mean, by but, far. I love Chapter Black as well, and I even don't mind its ending. I think its ending is just okay. You wanted to do something that made it a little bit bigger, <laughs> raise the stakes, tie him back into the past, which is mostly fine. Like it's not. Bad. It's just not the same. You could, you could, level you could tell his heart wasn't in it after it. Yeah. I, I, I think as as soon as the words Mazaku are, are being thrown around, yeah, the, the emotional core of the story is being betrayed. Like he, but, like it, he, he just kind of started doing like more shonen anime stuff when you could tell he really wanted to do Hunter Hunter at that point. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it, but and that and that's evident. But but like for, you're, you're, what you're saying, yeah, what, what I was going to say is, uh, one of Chunin Exam's strengths is the fact that it had a whole bunch of variety to it mm -hmm. before it became a ladder tournament. Yu Yu Hakusho built the variety into the tournament where every single match had its unique set of rules that both teams had to agree to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was so cool. Yeah, that was great. And like, and like, it's, there's so much cheating that that makes you feel like, mm -hmm. fuck you, stop cheating. And, and, and sometimes they aren't cheating. Sometimes they run up against just a really cool, strong team. Yeah. Uh, or at least a team with some really cool, strong people in it. I, I will say the fact that um, Togashi was able to fit in like oh hey they're all demons which means that they've all got these weird techniques that they can do um, required very little explanation mm -hmm. uh, where well, I love Nen for that reason too because mm -hmm. once you mm -hmm. once you take your 101 course uh, and get your extra credit for learning about how Nen works everything everything else makes falls sense in line. Yeah. yeah it's like oh they can, can do that they can do this but, but but to its credit the dark tournament doesn't even need that Hey! It's like, hey, I control yo-yos. Bam! <laughs> yeah, it's like, I just infused my energy into this. Let's go! I'm a wind leprechaun. <laughs> oh, you're a mess. You made a bomb go boom in your face, you fool. <laughs> okay, like, let's, let's also, let's take a moment to admit something real quick. The like, dub rocks. The dub is so inaccurate from time to time. But it fucking slaps. But it's great. It's so fun. It's so good. It's so fun. Oh. It's, it's, easily, it's easily one of those shows that realize we have a billion characters and we have like five. Yeah, we have 30, 30 people. Voice actors. So some of y'all are doubling up, doubling up and some of y'all are doubling up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, but um, yeah, Toguro like, is also like, again, like with Yusuke's like arc again, like. I, again, I think it kind of just culminates here, but like he starts as like this boy who just can't admit that he cares about things, like he's emotionally closed off. And Toguro lived a life of emotionally closing himself off just to like literally, prioritize being strong. Literally every single one of our hero characters has a massive chunk of their character arc yeah. in this tournament, and it all culminates against their opponents in the team Toguro. Yeah. You got yeah, Kuwabara. He's more of a fucked up guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, 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 have, you have Kuwabara, who is the ultimate underdog, going up against who is arguably the most deadly member of the opposite team at the end. Yeah. And, and while, so while the end does feel a little cheap for that, and that, like, uh, haha, I let you in. Fuck you. It's <laughs> Toguro, like, oh, man. But I, I, but I like that Toguro's like, I think I fucked up. I want to prove to myself that someone can take a different path and be better than Yeah, me. and even Toguro has a full arc in this, which is yeah. why I love yeah, the I love way that Togashi to loves... To hell. I, like, I, yeah, it's like, no, nah, I'm going. No, I, I just I belong in hell. I'm going there. <laughs> yeah, no, it is, it is so interesting when you have... There's, I do have this kind of love for villain characters who in one way like groom and their protagonist to be a better version of them. To like, no, don't be I, like me. I don't be like me. <laughs> and like, then he, I, and then in the next arc, he immediately goes up against Dark Yusuke. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, but, uh, um, yeah, well, and also like, uh, um, Kurama had like, like unlocks more of his like, Past and, com self. and comes to terms with like what it means to be both demon and human, yeah, and how to try to ride that balance. Cool, borrow, borrow, you know, does what he does, which is really struggle to keep up. Yeah. He is the he's the ultimate underdog. <laughs> yeah. I which is also why it sucks. Actually, no, I guess Usopp is the later. ultimate underdog, but Kuwabara was like the proto underdog. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, they're, they're, and yeah, I just I the get and then there's Genkai 
is Genkai's entire thing. Genkai's yeah. always amazing. Which is, um, uh, yeah, amazing, and the anime fixed some problems. Literally, the, he, like, <laughs> the hero's journey is told in the Dark Tournament. Yeah. It's... It is a fucking amazing story. Again, and again, like, arguably, the story of Yu Hakusho can end right there. And it could. Entirely satisfying. Yeah. Like, with Genkai coming back or with her staying dead. It, yeah. Like, either they, way. Either way, it, Yu Yu Hakusho could have ended there and then he could have started Hunter Hunter. Maybe should have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I uh, Look, I would be very sad to lose Chapter Black for what it does for a couple of Oh, no. Of I love Chapter Black. You genuinely need that development. But he does better Chapter Black in, in Hunter Hunter. Kind of. He, he takes oh. a lot of those ideas and, and moves them into Hunter Hunter. It's, it's what yeah. he does. He, 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 he finds something that he likes and it's like, okay, I can do this, but better. Yeah. yeah. I will say he definitely takes a lot of its characters and ideas. He doesn't redo that plot, though. No, not entirely. No. But, but no. Type Kubo redoes that plot. Yes. That's kind of fun, too. <laughs> Look, oh, yo, are you kidding me? I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry. Once you've perfected, like, the anime plot, sure, you're going to do it again and again. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, if you're going to steal, to steal from anything from Yu Yu Show to just straight up rip off Chapter Black and still do it really well, I, I'm, a, again, I'm also a Kubo critic, but damn it, the, uh, the full bring arc is, like, one of the best. It's fun. It was uh, the last time it was fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, the anime's great, right? Dark, Dark Tournament, to me, it's, like, one of the best arcs in all of anime. Uh, the only one that I think I might like a little bit better is the Kamehameha Ant arc in Hunter x Hunter. So, yeah, yeah, I'm a massive Tagashi stan, so. I think I like the Dark Tournament better than Kamehameha Ant arc just because it's cleaner. It's, um, it is significantly better paced. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. Where's the narrator telling us how all of the fights in the Dark Tournament I don't actually working? mind the narrator. I, 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 I don't, I, I don't either. Fuck, out, the, fuck the narrator. They should have done away with it I, in the anime. Oh my god, I think way. the narrator's fun, hilarious. They are. <laughs> I, I love the gag with the narrator and Yu Yu Hakusho. It's been one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds before Killua blinked. Wait. <laughs> oh my god. I, thought, I laughed so hard when that happened and I didn't mind. <laughs> It, it is it is kind of an amusing But yeah, Dark Tournament wins because of course it absolutely does. Wins. Yeah, of course wins. it wins. Absolutely fucking wins. There was so this, was, was this wasn't a competition. It was a bloodbath. Maybe if we weren't all fucking millennials and we were younger, we'd be uh, like, no, something else, fairy tale. No, wins. okay, name a better tournament. <laughs> I dare you. Somebody in the comments, name a better tournament. Tell us why we were wrong. Yeah, help. How, no many, how many great magic game fans are in the comments? Tell us now. Yeah, <laughs> how many of you like watching God of the, High the School? The Ragnarok yes. one. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm so glad that didn't get brought up. Oh, I, that was, a, it was the patrons brought it up. We, I, 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 we didn't add it. Which of you motherfuckers? <laughs> Well, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. They might, have been, they might have been going from the manga, which is apparently actually really good. Oh, okay. Cause... It's not. Oh, okay. The parents... Tyler Which of you motherfuckers? <laughs> You're just becoming a gremlin. <laughs> Who did it? Of course, there were two of them that brought it up. How oh. dare you? <coughs> but yeah, so, so, <laughs> so here, let's, 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 let's just show off the winner. The, there, there it is. Oh, okay. and you, you... Why, why are we correct? You tell us. Because <laughs> we're not wrong. Dark Tournament does win. Dark Tournament wins. It's if you haven't watched it, fucking watch it. Watch it. It's great. Watch Yu Yu Hakusho. Watch Yu Yu Hakusho. If you've seen Bleach and you haven't seen Yu Yu Hakusho, then you've done it. I hope the live action Yu Yu Hakusho is all right. <laughs> oh my god. It could be. It's I, there, I, I there is a chance. A good there's adaptation a chance. of that. There's a chance. Yeah, I mean. And especially if they end it at the end of the Dark Tournament. That's the video. <laughs>